Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Redberry Wheel here, and welcome back to another Civil Air Patrol video. But this one's a tiny bit different. This is to announce that I am working with the Volunteer University staff to bring to you some outstanding videos that talk about Volunteer University and answer a few people's questions in addition to quick how to videos on how to get involved with Volunteer University. So, one question you might ask is what is Volunteer University? And that's a question that I plan to address in today's video. So there used to be an old professional development system where you would have to take courses like SLS, CLC, Region Staff College, National Staff College in order to progress through the different levels. But now there is a new system where you complete the levels training and you can do either in-person or online modules with an instructor of some kind. And in general, the curriculum is supposed to be more accessible because with previous training, people would have to drive from all across the state in order to come to one location, meet for eight hours, and then disperse at the end of the day, or you would even take up a whole weekend, sometimes even a week. And to help maximize your experience as a senior member, Civil Air Patrol strives to further improve its accessibility. And so, Thus, Volunteer University was born, and there is a fantastic national staff, and I will include a link in the description down below talking a little bit about who those staff members are on the national level. And if you have any questions, there is an FAQ sheet on that website, and I will be addressing some of those questions here in this video in addition to future videos. So that, that's just something to keep in mind when you're moving forward with this. So really, the program is supposed to be more accessible to everyone and it's not supposed to take more time and it can be at your own pace, especially with those online modules. So there are three different ways that you can do volunteer university modules and you can do it in person, virtual in residence or entirely virtually. And in future videos, I'm going to be discussing how you're gonna sign up for a cohort, what a cohort is first of all, and how to get into cohorts in addition to just general information to help you better understand and navigate the system. So I look forward to posting more videos on this in the future. And if you have any questions for me, just feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. And that is all folks until next time. Toodles.